Harry Houdini was world famous. No handcuffs could hold him. No safe could contain him. He gained international fame as an escape artist. And he was quite entertaining. People would gather, people would come, and he proved himself capable of getting out of any device, any lock known to man. At a certain point, Harry Houdini took a little turn in his career and began doing magic as in slate of hand. And the Hippodrome, which was then one of the largest theaters in existence, he booked a showing and had 3,000 people in attendance. The show consisted of Harry Houdini making a live elephant disappear on stage. And in fact, he brings out this very large box, then walks out with an elephant. He turns the box around, shows it to the audience that it's empty inside. He then takes the elephant, puts it in the box, has two men turn the box around. When the box is turned around, Harry Houdini opens the box and the elephant is gone. Wondrous. Amazing. And yet the audience sat there, didn't clap, didn't applaud, wasn't moved. You see, Harry Houdini was a great escape artist, but as a showman, he was kind of mediocre, maybe not even quite. And the problem with that showmanship was that it was so lacking with buildup, so lacking in the proper presentation, that when the elephant disappeared, which should have had everyone astounded, he, because he presented it in a weak way, no one clapped, no one was moved. Harry Houdini was an excellent escape artist, but a poor showman. And I believe that's an apt parable for something that we experience daily. When a person studies this creation, there's such wisdom that's so manifest that it's astonishing. A person should fall on his face and say, the creator of all this is astonishing. So why doesn't it move us? Because God is a very capable creator, but if it could be, God is a poor showman. You see, for God to remain hidden behind nature, God allows the world to work in the ways of nature. And one can study this world and say it's just natural, natural occurrences. And to allow man to have free will, God hides behind nature, and a person could go through his whole life living through miracles upon miracles and never even recognize it. For a person to gain an appreciation of his creator, to gain an understanding, a person has to step back has to begin asking questions, has to ask himself the why, the how. And when a person begins doing that and begins exploring the wisdom that's manifest in every part of the creation, he sees the greatness of our creator, sees our creator behind the scene who created and maintains every part of nature. <laughs>